and hello and welcome my name is Martin and today what we're going to be doing is learning how to cut a hole through our landscape now the reason why we might want to do this is so that we can actually create let's say like a cave entrance so if you can imagine uh, somewhere in the distance you would want to create a cave um, and in order to do so you would have to cut a hole through your landscaping now the way that we're used to doing this would be to go and grab let's say a geometry um, let's make this thick enough so that it will actually go through the floor or apparently what would feel like it would be going through the floor and I'm just going to get rid of the landscaping deal that got on there it's a clear okay so we have our geometry it's clearly going through the floor and at this point what we would normally do is right click on this or click on it and then go over to details panel right click or click on additive and hit subtractive but as you see that did nothing we don't have a hole through our floor all right so um, what we're going to do is the first thing that we're going to do is cut like a manhole size uh, hole in the in the floor and what that's going to allow us to do is then go into what would look like a subway or a subterranean area so let's go ahead and do that First, let's actually make the tube, okay? So I'm going to actually deselect that. Let's go here, and let's go be below both the, uh, below the, let's go below both the landscape that we have created, right, and the area that we're working in. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a tube. So let's go into cylinder, grab a cylinder. Um, let's flip it on its side, so we'll go 90 degrees in this direction. And from there, when we look at the cylinder, we can see that as far as a tube, it's got uh, pretty flat sides on it. So right now it looks something more like um, like a nut and screw, right? So if you've got the uh, like a bolt and you're, you've got the screw on the back end and you're screwing in the screw, that's a, it's got these side edges that looks more like a hexagon. So let's give it a, a slightly softer appearance. If we go to about 10. We'll see that now it looks a little bit better. Still has kind of that shape. Now just remember that the more sides you stick on something, uh, the more it's going to, uh, the more power it's going to take on your computer's side to be able to actually reproduce that because you're adding more polys. Whoa, very nice cylinder, but way too much. Let's go back to 20. Okay, so that's uh, good enough for right now. Um, so obviously this needs to be a tube, so we're going to need to go into it and make it longer. So if we scroll down, we're going to see brush settings, we're going to see the z-axis, and let's make this, uh, let's make it 3000 in length. So now we have a tube that uh, is long enough to actually go outside of the game area. Maybe this is how the character uh, through an underground tunnel gets out of the city and works their way into the general area. Um, and if we wanted to have that, let's move this over just a little bit so then that way it truly is going into the landscape area. All right, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and let's see how far down it is. That's probably okay. Let's move it up just a little bit. Okay. So now I just want to check to see if it's roughly in the area that I need it to be in. And let's move it over just a little bit so that the center of it is going down the spine here because I plan on putting the, the hole for the subway, or the subway, the, the hole for the sewer grate to be right here. All right. So now let's go ahead and grab our box because we do have a geometry as our floor and we also have it as a cylinder. So we still need to use the geometry to cut the holes through those. So let's make this, let's say, I don't know, 1,000 in height. Then we're going to check and see how that's going to go into the cylinder underneath. Okay. Now I just kind of center that up a bit. Maybe went a little bit too far. Let's try it right here. That looks a little bit more weighted to one side than the other, but of course you can come here to location and start adjusting the location. So we're going to select one of those and we could go, let's say, 
very slowly in one direction so now it feels more in the center okay so now we have the connecting tunnel which is going to be the uh, geometry which you just created i also want to see to make sure that it actually goes into the tunnel far enough oh and the other thing that we also probably need to do with the with the tube itself is to make it hollow so if we select it and we say hollow then we're going to get the sewer tube so this is where a character is going to fall into all right, so now that we can check to make sure that the, uh, the subtractive is going in far enough to make a good clean cut, we can go ahead and make this subtractive. So let's click on this. I might just lower it just a little bit more. And let's go ahead and make this a subtractive. Okay, so just to check, we do have a hole in the tunnel. We do have a hole in the mesh. The only problem that we're having right now, obviously, is that this material uh, is not accepting uh, the hole from the geometry, right? So we need to do something special to our landscape. So let's click somewhere on our landscape so we have that selected. And with that selected, we can get into the material. So let's go into, uh, click on the landscape, scroll down until you see landscape. And then let's double click on the material to open up the material. So this is what we did in the last project or in the last tutorial. Uh, we made this material. Uh, now what we want to do is one of two things. We want to go to landscape. And by default, this thing is usually clicked on opaque. That's what you should see. So uh, with landscape selected, we're going into details. And then we're scrolling down until we see uh, opaque or blend mode. And we want to click from opaque to masked. Once that's there, you're going to see that the mask option is now available for you. So opacity mask. If we click out of there and type in landscape, and we'll see one that says visibility mask. So let's click on that. Once the visibility mask has been added, we need to apply. And then once the apply is finished, we need to click save. Okay, so and I'm going to click save again. All right, so now, uh, yes, oh, it's probably because of the shaders, so we probably need to wait for some of the shaders to finish. Okay, so we'll just give that a few seconds. Okay, so uh, since I've done this tutorial several times, I already have a hole that's cut out uh, underneath the area that I need. Uh, so I'm actually going to come over here to this area, and I'm going to cut out the uh, the other hole that we're going to need to come up the other side, right? So our character is going to go into the tunnel, uh, go down the tunnel, find another shaft that goes up, and uh, that's where we're going to need to come out from. Okay, so to be able to cut the hole now, we need to be on the uh, on the uh, landscape. Uh, once we're on the landscape, we want to go back to the landscape tool underneath modes. So we're going to go to landscape or modes, then landscape. Okay, once that comes, comes up, uh, we've seen inside the sculpting tool. So not in manage, not in paint, but underneath sculpt. If you come down here to landscape editor, we've used things like the sculpt, the smooth, the flatten. And you'll remember that we had this one down here at the bottom. And I said we'd get back to that one. So let's go to visibility. So that is the object that we have selected. And then from there, uh, it's about changing the size of your brush. Obviously, we don't need a giant hole for our character to come, hole, uh, come up through. So we need a much smaller hole. So let's make this small enough um, and if you need to go back to the hole that you have created with your geometry and just see if that covers up the area that you need it to if that does then we're fine okay so um, let's figure out where the other hole is and let's try to create a straight line down downwind a little bit and now that we have it now the other thing too is we don't need a uh, we don't need the brush fall off we don't need that to be a smooth edge we want it to actually be a hard edge so now that we have kind of the location of where we want this hole to be let's go ahead and punch a hole through okay so as you see now I have a 
small hole that's been created that actually goes through my uh, through my landscape and if my character walks through that hole right now they would actually fall through uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this an even smaller brush so let's make this go to about 50 so then that way I can actually show you how uh, so what you're doing is remember that grid that we saw when we created the geometry or the landscaping itself that's actually what we have right here and as we cut holes through this you can see that it's actually working on that grid line to create the holes that we're going to make right um, so now I see where that hole I ooh, can't see it from the bottom okay so obviously that's going to be way too much so we might need to do the opposite of this and remember that usually the opposite is using the shift key so if I use the shift key while I've got my visibility tool, I'm actually covering up the area, right? So now we no longer have a hole. Okay, so to do this right, to where I'm not guessing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, f uh, create another geometry that's going to go to the end of this tunnel. And I'm going to push that through so then that way I know where to make the hole. So I'm going to go back to places. I'm going to go back to geometry. I'm going to click on box. I'm going to grab that and put it out on the floor. Let's make this box sort of like a well or something on the other side. Maybe that's how they're getting through. Uh, let's make this 300 by 300. This box here. And what I'm doing is I'm just adjusting this so that they'll be roughly in the right area. So now that I do have the area, let's push that back through the landscape. Okay, so this will be sort of like that concrete block that you see as part of your sewer system that might hold the uh, the, the, the hole, the uh, the, um, the grate or the cover for the manhole cover. Okay, so now that we have that, let's grab another box, another geometry. And if we need to, let's make that like a stone outside or a brick, which is what we're going to use eventually. So let's say material brick and we don't need level let's just say material there's our brick we'll throw that on there for now it's I don't like that brick let's use that brick okay so let's grab our next box that does not need to be brick so let's delete that make sure we don't have a material selected grab the box okay let's make that oops thousand put that in the center of the other one and then should be lined up because we've already sort of done that already okay I just want to make sure that it's not pu punching through the bottom of the tunnel because we obviously don't want our character to be able to fall through the through the game so once that's there we should be able to hit uh, subtractive that now has punched a hole through the top and through the tube and at this point we now know exactly where we need to make our hole through our landscape okay so we're gonna go back to landscape yeah it always takes a while on my computer so landscape we still have the visibility tool selected and let's go ahead and punch a hole through Okay, so the one thing that I'm noticing a little bit is in the punching of the hole, I'm starting to see uh, a little bit of negativeness on the outside of that. So maybe one of the things that I could actually do is go back to my brick. And this is nice because we could just make this a little bit wider. So um, let's go to this. Let's make this, let's say, 400 by... 400 and then that covers up that area and then we don't see through that at all okay so we have this nice little tunnel area okay now the other obvious thing is as they're falling you don't want them to fall into an area like uh, on top of this and then be able to go off of the game area so you might have tubes that are connecting this 
uh, in our case I'm just going to bring this up a little bit and in doing so the holes now go or the, the back one also sort of is punching through a little bit so let's pick this one up just a little okay we can see that it's now no longer going through the floor and let's pick the other one up so I'm grabbing the inside space so I can grab the negative subtractive and now that I have that selected you can see that it's no longer going through the floor and just for safety we'll make that go up just a little bit higher okay fantastic so we now have created a, um, a sewer system or a tunnel system underneath our game area so that that way our character at some point we might put a ladder or some type of a way for them to be able to uh, once they reach this area be able to actually maneuver their way up and out of the tunnel okay fantastic so we have cut our hole through our landscape what we'll do is uh, I don't want to make this video too long so uh, now that we have the hole let's go and make a, a second part to this video and make a cave system okay so I hope you have a wonderful day bye bye